G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again with another C Sharp tutorial, this time looking at constants, what they are, and how we use them. So to jump straight into an example, I'm going to create a variable which is a double, called pi, with a quick little value of 3.14. I'm going to leave it at that. So pi is a pretty important number, and it's a really nice thing to actually give it a name, because when we're using pi in certain calculations, okay, it looks a lot nicer to have the word pi there than it does to have 3.14, okay? So for example, I could have just written 3.14 there, but to anybody who isn't really that acquainted with pi, if you came across this, you wouldn't really understand what that means. But with pi, they can either go, oh yes, I know about that, or they can go and research it because there's the word there that they can go and have a look at. Now, pi is inherently a very constant number and this is why I use it straight away because what I want to do is now make this variable a constant. What this means is it is exactly like a variable, it still uses RAM, it still uses the same amount of RAM but you're not allowed to change the value and there's two reasons you would use a constant. The first is because it looks a lot nicer to use a word like I said before but also it is slightly more memory and processor efficient to use a constant. Now I'm not going to get into that but just keep that in the back of your mind. And as I said before, you can still use it like a variable in all of your calculations, okay? And you can even change the value afterwards and it will update every time that constant appears in your code, all right? And you can run it and it's still gonna use that new value for you, okay? So to give you another example, I'm gonna deactivate this code here. Let's say, for example, I've got some equations going on in my code. I've got A equals seven, I've got B equals two times, seven and then I've got um, C equals 14 plus seven because I can. Now you can see there's a very constant number coming up there lots which is obviously seven. If seven was supposed to be a very special number in your code, in this particular case it's a prime number which is pretty important, what I would do is create a constant. So create a constant, give it its data type and then give it a name. So in this case I'm gonna call it prime and make it equal seven, and instead of writing the number seven each time, I'm simply going to write prime, all right? So once again, we get the added benefit of seeing a word rather than just a value sitting on the screen, and we've got 14 there, so we could actually go prime times two, if that's what we're going for. The second and most important benefit, which I showed before, if I wanted to change to a different prime number, let's say upgrade to 13, that means all of these calculations I'm performing now use the value of 13. All right, so there's a quick second example of a constant number. Now, let's say for a third example, so disabling this code once again, that my prime or my constant value, sorry, is coming from a calculation. So let's say I've got another double here. I'm just gonna call it num, because I can't think of a better one. And let's say I've got 65 divided by two, all right? So the value that I want for my constant is gonna be 65 by, divided by two every single time. I'm allowed to do that, okay? That is 100% fine. However, one thing I can't do, I'm gonna bring back this prime number. I am not allowed, whoop, that was a really bad example there. Um, I'll bring back prime and I'll bring back A. I'm not allowed to use a variable in an assignment for a constant, okay? So that means A is actually not a constant value. It could change any time. So C, C Sharp is telling me that I'm not allowed to use A as the value for the constant because it isn't constant, all right? So you're allowed to use equations and calculations, but you can't use variables in those calculations. It has to be a constant value. Now. Just to give you a couple little examples before we end, because all I've done is numbers so far, you can use strings as well. It's actually very handy to use strings. I could use things like text file, and I could have .txt there, and I could also have something like um, video file, and have it as .mp4, okay? I might be using a file management program where I've got to recognize all my text files and all my video files, and et cetera. And it's a good way just to have, you know, the word text file as opposed to .txt in quotes appearing every single time. All right, and that's pretty much the end of this video, everybody. So thank you very much for watching. Liking, subscribing, and commenting is below the video. Please think about doing either one of those, or any one of those things, I should say. 
the next video, we're going to get into the big stuff, which is decisions. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.